Welcome to the Smartboard Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition, the Smart Survival Guide. This episode is editing the Word Biz file in the Lesson Activity Toolkit, and I'm your host, Matt Granger. So this is going to be another good activity to use for vocabulary building. It's one of the flash files that's found in the Lesson Activity Toolkit. So you're going to go to your Gallery tab. Here's mine over here. All right, so the Gallery tab, you're going to find the Lesson Activity Toolkit. Then you're going to open that in the Activities folder, which is the first folder underneath. Down at the very bottom here, we have WordBiz. So when you click on that folder, down below in the Gallery tab, you're going to get your six choices here, again, with the six different colors. I'm going to go get that file now. So I'm going to go to my Gallery tab, click on that. Here I am in, my, in the Lesson Activity Toolkit. Activities folder, Word Biz, and then here are my six colors. So let's go with orange this time. So I drag it out or double click on it, either way. It's going to put the flash file out into the workspace. Now, this is a rather large file, it takes up most of the, you know, the whole screen that you would see, which is fine if you don't have a title on the page. But again, if you had a title on the page, you're going to want to just grab the bottom right corner, the resize handle, and make it a little bit smaller. Isn't it funny how, you know, we used to have all these little screen TVs and little computer monitors, and now that we have, you know, these smart boards, we hate it when there's that one inch black border around the edge of the image on the smart board and we're losing some of that space. We can't take it anymore. <laughs> Same thing here, right? Yeah, it could fill the whole screen, but for some of us, it grates on us that we have to make it a little bit smaller. It's kind of a, a funny observation I've had recently. So, to edit this file, again, you're going to click the Edit button. You can put in a password if you want, so the students can edit the one you create. Here you have a number of questions, up to eight that you can have. I'll just put two for now. You can even select your font. The difficulty if you want the timer or not and then you put your question here and your answer so for this if you were doing vocabulary your question part that's going to be kind of like your clue if you were using the anagram file so your question here will be your definition and then you can use the tab key to tab over to the answer Then you're going to want to click down here, put your next one in. Tab. Now this is another one. If you make these, I'll make this one capital just so you can see the difference. So I finished editing this up to my eight questions. I click OK. So the directions right here press start to begin so the students will come up here you might want to lock the file down so it can't be moved on the page students come up they press start question one to pledge or promise to give or do something commit so you oh that's right I have the timer going you have to You tap the letters, and based on however long it took you, you get a score. Click Next. So I capitalized respect when I put it in there. So you can see here is the capital R. 
it won't let me use the small r. So that would be something you would have to figure out whether you wanted it capital or not. R E S. And by the way, if you do misspell it, it clears it and you have to start over again. So that's how that file would work. If you only had one page of words and you wanted to use this for several groups at a daily five station, after a group finished it, they could take the pen, sign their name, all right, then go to the next page for the next group. So how would you do that? In your page sorter, once you had this one completed and you've edited it and it's ready to go, you just have to clone the page. And the shortcut for that is either Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC. Right there. So I need six pages. I can just do Command D, one, two, three, four, five, six, and they will show up in my page shorter here. So review. You go to the gallery tab, lesson activity toolkit folder, open that. You've got the activities folder, open that, down to word biz. Double click or drag whichever of the six colors you want onto your workspace. Click the edit button in the top left. If you want a password, protect your file. Check or uncheck the timer button if you want to use that. Select the number of questions you want to use, up to eight. Enter the questions, which would be the definitions and the answer which would be your word and then click OK. So that's all there is to it. Join us for our monthly Spurgvug meetings. We get together once a month and learn more about smart products, techniques. Go to the smartboardrevolution.ning.com You can find out about the time, the date of the next meeting and there are also links to recordings of our previous meetings. This has been the Smart Survival Guide, and I'm your host, Matt Granger. See you next time.